Look, I'm justifying what I'm doing because it's almost my birthday and I might as well get myself something, right? Well, someone's about to get paid. It's just not me. All right, I've got a two hour drive home and I don't know how to drive stick. Let's get going. Uh, what's it called? Clutch it down. Ignition, or wait, breakdown, into neutral, ignition, handbrake off. I 
don't know why that happened, and I need my map. People are being quite patient, though. close to the wheel but my legs are too short if I'm any further so I need to do some adjusting here in 900 feet at end of the road turn left on route recalculation route recalculation And here it is, except this is this is two years later. <laughs> I bought this car two years ago. It's been just basically sitting. So I had never been in a manual vehicle before, but honestly, I, I did pretty okay, I think. <laughs> I've taught two people to drive manual since I learned myself. And it seems like most people have a little more trouble. It takes a little bit more time. I think I just had a slight advantage because I consume so much car content and I had played a little bit of sim racing as well. So I had an idea of how it worked. It was just a matter of applying the knowledge to the car, which honestly is pretty simple once you understand how it works. So things that have wheels have been my drive for a very long time. It's, and I just can't be lying like on my deathbed in the future, knowing that I never tried to pursue vehicles to a farther extent. I just have to, and it's finally time to get stuff done because this car needs a lot of work. It already got a lot of it done, it actually wasn't that much, but I had never worked on vehicles before, so that's what the upcoming videos will be, is getting this thing working. Because what I didn't know is I was driving home in this video on a broken clutch. It, I thought that I was just like super weak. Oh, a boy after my own heart. <laughs> because my foot was so tired after what was a two hour drive. I basically got a ride two hours away from my house and then it was, it was just all on me to get the car back home. And I was so sore the next day. I thought I was just so weak, but no, it turns out the clutch was completely broken and it ended up failing very shortly after this video. So thank the heavens it didn't fail on the way home. I was wondering why nobody had bought this car yet. It had been listed for a few months. Oh, I think they probably came and test drove it and they're like, hmm, this clutch is broken. Except for me, I didn't know what a broken clutch felt like because I had never driven with a clutch before. So that, <laughs> you'll also get to see that in real time. But this is a little introduction, very short, very sweet. Getting this 2013 Super BRZ into my garage, two hours away, 
and I got to learn to drive manual in the process. And man, it was it was so fun. Also, the reason I could not get the car into reverse is because my sim racer goes down and to the right. I was trying to push down and go to the right, which is just first. But on the BRZ, you pull up and go to the right. But in the moment, I could not figure this out, so I ended up doing the whole drive just without reverse, but whatever. And also, remember how I said I can't get it into gear and I start struggling because it's stuck in neutral and no matter what I do, it won't go into first gear? I also thought that that was my fault, but no. It turns out that's just a common Subaru problem, according to a couple other owners, where BRZs don't shift in the first gear, particularly when the engine is still cold. So once it heats up, it shifts more smoothly, but otherwise I actually still, to this day, have to shift into second and then into first to get it into gear, which I thought I was screwing up there. No, turns out it wasn't. Also, I had trouble shifting gears again because the clutch was failing. So once I realized that's why I was having so much trouble, I felt even better about myself. I think if I had a working clutch when I bought the car, I would have had an even smoother experience, but I was basically driving on hard mode my first time. Mm -hmm.